Hey Flaffies, welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays, and welcome to the third part of the Beginner's Guide. I'm not going to talk too long in this introduction, suffice to say, this game is taking... It feels like a sadder turn, if that makes sense. Things are less silly, and they're getting considerably more serious, and it, it might be my own interpretation of it. I think I need to play a little bit more to, to understand a few things here. But either way, it's a fascinating game, and I'm excited to see what happens next, so... Let's do this. Okie dokie, so January 2010. So we're slowly catching up. Right. So, theatre. This one took oh. a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Well, it's different from all the other ones so far. No prisons. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Can't use the switches. Oh, wow. Oh, you can make something out of this, couldn't you? Oh, fuck off! <gasps> oh, I just weaved myself a little. What? Performance is beginning. Oh! Oh! <laughs> In this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll start... Oh, we're floating. Shall I start out leaning against the wall? Good, stay right there. Oh. Well, I'm confused what's happening. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Oh, it's all happening really fast. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hey. Hello. That's it. That's not a conversation. Fine. Fuck you then. You're naked. <laughs> you need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. Uh, I'm super, super scared right now. I like you. Here are all of my hopes and dreams. I like you. I mean, I don't. No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. Oh, so we're narrating. Okay. Maybe it's that you need a better feel of the setting. There are a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. Oh, hello. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. Oh! Ha! Oh, I want to do this instead. Sorry, this is the game now. Okay, fine. Uh, that got old really fast. Um, okay. You must have... Oh, shit. You must have worked really hard to get where you are. I bet you've learned to... Le le oh, my God. Lean into the pain. What are some sacrifices you've had to make? You're messing it up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realise how important... They're all personal questions. Do not realise how important this is for me. I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on this. Hmm. I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. Oh, you melted. There's no one there. Okay. Isn't that like the end there, though? Oh! Oh. There's your prison. Box. Oh, it's fine. We can do this for a little while. Oh, what's that? Oh. Okay, yes, the now it's working. This, this is what it's like. premonition of what's oh. going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety to fears of having to perform and having to chase success. I was going to say, yeah. The answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself. I think one big dream interpretation. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. God damn, honest, such a relatable game. Very comfy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looks to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Maybe he's just trying to I connect feel his like thoughts. A lot of his games are inviting me to connect. 
to connect with this person, to bring him closer. Oh. But what can you do? After this, Coda went off and took another five months to make a new game. June 2010. What does Coda do for a living? I'm assuming making games. Mobius trip. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. <gasps> oh, should I do it? Oh, this could be fun. Oh, hang on. This could be interesting. Here we go. Right, we're going to do this. I just realised you can't even tell if my eyes are closed or not. That makes no sense. Am I, 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 am I supposed to keep my eyes closed? I know what to do! I'm going to cheat. Oh. Well, that was just rude. It was a trick. Oh, look, it's the door. Help, I'm blind. What's happening? Am I going to be killed by a giant door? Captain, what can we do? Oh, was I not pressed? Oh, okay. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. Okay. And there is so I did cheat then. By the way. Okay. Oh, that was funny. Okay, so at least I, I was I was supposed to close my eyes at something. Oh! Oh! Well, I couldn't do it otherwise, could I? Uh, uh. SS Whisper. What do I do? What do I do? Can I go up again? No, I can't. Oh, God! I'm going to die! There's the exit! Well, I can't do much. The only way to stop it is to speak something that's honest. My work is really fun! Oh, that wasn't honest. My work is fun. Oh, that's sad. He doesn't think his work's fun. So he just does it... Just analysing himself? I don't know. Fine. Fine. I am bursting with creative energy. I can't keep making these. My work is... I guess I can't keep making these. Yep, that's it. That's the truth. This would make a lot more sense if he knew who was going to be playing this in the future. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like. You know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. Well, no shit. Really does. Oh, Jesus. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Christmas. Yay. <laughs> oh, this is really getting sad. Hello? Where am I? What is this? Hello? It's a tree! Where did the siren come from? Whoa! Is that a person? How lovely! It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. Well, technically speaking, I'm not lost because I know my entire environment. It's Danny. I'm completely out of ideas. When I try to create, I feel empty. I have nothing left to give. Okay, so I'm going to say this now. This is a, this means a lot more when your job is to be creative. Um, I, I, I sounds conceited to say that, but this is kind of resonating me on a really deep level and it's quite a sad. I suppose most people I suppose would resonate with them in some way but it's really making me I'm, I'm answering fairly like honestly to me there was a machine that kept me going and it stopped that'd be the coffee maker <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me to start again okay
You're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. What? You'll have to take me to it. I need to see it to know why it stopped. I probably meant to press that one. That's fine. Get a feeling that the they could make a really good, like, medi like meditative about game. Yeah. Yeah. Frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. If you help me solve now, the puzzle, we'll find find my deal. Playing this. Here's a deal. friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to bubble. anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Mm. Unrelated, but bubble. It's one of the very few words you can't say without smiling and in some way feeling a little bit happy. Like puppy. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Bubble! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so first you have to close the door, first you have to open the door. Okay, now what? Now you have to clo close the door. Alright, what's next? Now just open the first door. Now just press the switch here. <gasps> you can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. This is incredibly profound and really, really depressing. What are you talking about here? There's no machine here. There's just walls with some... Um, trust me, you'll see. You'll have to see my work is fun and easy. You'll have to see game development is simple and joyous and that you'll 100% love it. Okay, making games is simple. Sure, making games is easy. All right, making games is effortless. Even if I relate that to makeup, none of them are true. I'm sure making games isn't easy or simple or effortless. I mean, I guess simple. Uh. Ah, so breaking down the lies. Okay. Don't worry. Just keep talking. Keep saying that creation is easy. Hmm. Maybe it's admitting it to Seeing yourself. Game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated. He's obviously aware of what he's doing. So it's like video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. Wow. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how. Oh, I hate funny. saying this stuff. It's, none of it's bloody true. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I never felt it so rotten. I just, I needed more than I had ever needed anything. For this to stop. <gasps> but it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. God, Coda needs a hug. Like, desperately. The machine. Is it an ink machine? Ooh. He's guiding the switch! Hello. Ma'am, glad to see you arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be quick. I intend to be quiet. I intend to be brutal. Quick. Click. Can I do a quick switch? 
just been warned that someone called the press, so we might have a bit of attention this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. Oh, fluff that. Ugh. Do not like, 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 do not like. Eh, uh, don't like, don't like, do not like. Okay, so the machine is a metaphor for the next project. Again, relatable. Wow. Wow. Huh. <sighs> you stopped. And of course, it's the machine. It doesn't need to be anything, I guess. Your work was keeping us alive. Your work was keeping us healthy. Those people out there, can you imagine what pain you put them through? It was only because of your creation that any of us could make it through every day. How could we possibly go back to trusting you to do this job? Oh my god. So here's what needs to happen. You need to go out there and apologise to them. You need to admit to the people that you allowed them to suffer. I've been so alone. So am I talking on behalf of the machine? I'm really confused right now. Apologise for leaving me. So I'm talking about the machine to those people. I've seen the thing you fear. Alright, then I'll apologise to the people on your behalf. Well, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh. Okie dokie. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. My followers, my friends. If falls on me to deliver bad news, I have a troubling revelation. The machine will not apologise to us. The machine refuses to admit that it deliberately hurt us. I'm not going to drop the machine in it, am I? But this is not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Wow. Okay. Well, technically, the healthier one, I suppose. Let us pay it retribution. Let us show it that we are not failures. Follow me, we will destroy the machine. Follow me, we will destroy, the, destroy everything that machine has created. What the... No! Fine. I mean, oh, hello. Oh. Lights. Oh, got a gun! I, I, oh. Oh, little red flag here. Um. Oh, I can shoot. Oh, that's not going to buff out. I, I do not want a gun. Remember, you can click to fire the gun. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I can't go through there. Oh! Oh! Ah! Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I missed a major opportunity here. I could have drawn a penis. Ah! Sorry. Oh my god, I'm such a child. Let's get rid of that. No evidence. No evidence. Uh, Coda, I'll make sure your work dies here. Coda, I'll make sure you are known forever. Yeah. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. Yeah, and I'll no tell shit. You, at the time that I first played oh. this game, shortly after he made it, ah. here's what I'm thinking to myself. Oh. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. Yeah. That might get him out of isolation. I mean, that's kind of has to be the ultimate goal, surely. Oh, and so as I'm thinking Back this, here again. I realize that I could be the one to initiate it, because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I did it for it? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Hence would the it bring him the game. back into his work? 
Oh no, I've ruined our house. I don't. We're destroying the game, okay. Toad to code to make, though. Fluff. So I started showing Door. Coda's work to people. I took this one and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all was just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be oh. afraid of. Wait, did he make them to be good, or did he make them to try and get his emotions out there? Put down your weapon. Okay. I don't want it anyway. Oh! Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? I can't, I can't put it down. It's the thing that I always feel like I need. To be told that my work is good. That I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. Oh, if I could no. give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. I was worrying about this when it started. So, so beautifully, beautifully happy. Oh. Um. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Mm. So let's take a look. Now, on that note, I don't want to be that person, but I'm going to have to end this episode here. Um, I'm starting to worry a little bit now. <laughs> we'll find out in the next episode. I'm not going to say anything else. I think it's fairly obvious. I'm sure you all are thinking the same thing and I am. God, it's, it, I've said it about four times in this, in this episode alone, but there's a lot resonating here. It's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm again, fascinated to see what's going to happen. Um, I'm probably, I, I don't know how much of this is going to go, but I would imagine there's not going to be much left after this episode. We'll find out, I guess, in that episode. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, until the next episode. Awesome. Bye, Fluffies.